hi guys welcome to my channel i am timmy banjo and i have put together meals i had during the first week of my keto journey as i announced in my previous video where i told you guys i'm going to be on a keto diet for 30 days and i'm going to be documenting every single thing i eat every single thing that goes into my mouth so i have put together everything in this video and if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you keep on watching. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribe, hit the thumbs up bell or symbol, give this video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into today's video. So this was the first day and I had very little energy because I was fasting. So I made this yogurt by blending a spoon of yogurt obviously and strawberries and then I crushed some almond nuts and added it to the yogurt so I could have a nutty is it a nutty or a nutty taste to the yogurt so the yogurt isn't boring i had this sweet pepper soup on the first day and that was my meal for that day and i did good by adding the net carbs for each day in every single meal here so the following day i pretty much had the same thing i'm always boring when it's like the first week of keto i like to have the same thing especially if it tastes nice and for one you guys know that pepper soup is like a staple meal in my house during keto and like i said i had i had the same thing this is the strawberry i used the nigerian strawberry i used in my omad video i'll leave a link up if you haven't seen my omad video you guys i tried the omad diet and I couldn't survive so I switched back to keto so this is the yogurt I used it is a keto yogurt I just had one and a half tablespoon of that added it to my yogurt I put in some stevia for sweetness and blended it up that's everything you need to do you can add um, almond milk you can add peanut butter if you want I just spice it up but I just like to keep mine simple just strawberry and you got that so so i put this up added some flax seeds some chia seeds and obviously some nuts to this and i had this with pepper soup again because i'm boring <laughs> when it comes to like the first week i just need something in my stomach to keep it moving that was all what my breakfast is looking like really really delicious and tasty and this whole was about nine to ten net carbs and i loved every single bit of it so for my lunch i'm having cauliflower mashed cauliflower and this isn't the best looking cauliflower you would have seen it's not that fresh it's been in the fridge for some time so i decided to make use of it i added some broth to eat that's beef broth some um, garlic about three cloves and i just boiled this up i added water also and boiled it on the fire when it was boiled i transferred it into um, the blender to blend it up so here now i'm adding salt pepper and i'm just going to cover this and leave this to get soft so once it is soft i will blend it and transfer it back into the pot again and heat it up and let make sure everything is you know good and tasting nice and then i'll transfer it to my plate serve this up with some parsley more pepper because i like heat and i'm going to be eating this with turkey so for my dinner i'm having this um garlic parsley red pepper ginger and salt and 
cameroon pepper blend i want to marinate fish now because i'm going to have that fish throughout this week so i'm going to prepare it down so that i can just be taken one by one whenever i want to eat so this is the marinade i'm preparing for it and this is the fish i'm using it's called chinese fish my mommy always talks about how expensive it is we shouldn't waste it we shouldn't do this we do that i'm like mommy fish is for eating allow me eat this fish so i'm going to mix this up in the marinade and let this sit properly but I removed about, I just removed one that I was going to eat for that day and then I covered this up with the cling film and kept it in the fridge. So this is the vegetable I'm having with my um, fish, just lettuce and some carrots and um, that was it. So I grilled the fish in the oven and then added it to my salad and that was what I had for my dinner on this day. So I have this mixture of water, mayonnaise and pepper. So that's what I always use for my meals, for my salad and I just added it to the salad and fish I need. So I'm going to start preparing my pepper soup for tomorrow because I'm almost out of pepper soup and I cannot emphasize on how much pepper soup should always be at your disposal that's if you like it anyways I'm not saying you must have it but I'm just saying you should always have a staple meal that you can have it as your go-to meal for keto whenever you're hungry something you can just quickly take so I'm preparing the pepper soup that I'm going to be eating for the next two to three days so it's not like I'm having it now hi guys happy Wednesday so I'm about to have my last meal for the day and this is what I'm going to be having and the time now is almost four it's three 335 so i like to have my last meal before four o'clock so that's how my body is trained so the pepper soup i'm making now is for tomorrow and later this week because i just like it to be there so that if i want to eat something and i don't have the strength to make it i can just quickly eat my pepper soup while i make the other stuff i want to eat so my intermittent fasting is going to start by four and I'm going to have this delicious fish and vegetables and also the rest of the fish is in the fridge marinated <laughs> I can't wait to actually eat that because this already tastes so nice so see you guys tomorrow tomorrow is Thursday so I just want to quickly show you guys how I make my detox tea now that I'm done eating I'm going to make my tea here so let me just show you guys the whole things I combine just one slice of lemon then slices of ginger and of course my tea bag this is quality by the way green tea just one bag and one and a half cover of apple cider vinegar this is one then half then half so i'm just going to pour hot water into this cup now So I'll leave this to brew for about 10 minutes and just start drinking and this is what I'm going to have for the rest of the day. This doesn't break your fast in any way. So my fasting has begun. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. 
and I've been fasting for 19 hours. Where is my phone? See, it's even almost 20 hours. This is um 10 40, it's almost 11, and I've been fasting since 4 pm yesterday. So I kind of lost track of time because I was editing a video so and again they took the lights I can't grill the fish because my oven is electricity oven and I have to wait for them to bring the lights or I can just fry the fish but you know I want to do away with the oil so like I said I always like to have my staple which is my um, pepper soup that is what I'm just going to heat up and have for breakfast there are beds on my window. So that's what I'm going to have for breakfast now. So let me just show you guys. So I still have my fish marinating here and this is just going to sit here longer because there's no light. So I also want to make zobo, so this is the water I'm going to use to boil my hibiscus leaves. So I'm going to add a stick of cinnamon to this one quarter of my vanilla extract this is the vanilla extract I'm using this one and then one wrap of stevia so along the line if I need more stevia I'll add to it but I just don't like going in too much with stevia So I'll cover this up and leave this to cook. Okay, so my um, Zobo is done now. I'm just going to sieve this and leave this to cool in a jug. So I'm going to transfer my Zobo into this jug now. And this is a funnel that has a sieve. You can use it together like this or you can detach it and use it like this. So I'm using it like this today and I got this for I think 500 Naira from the market where I used to work on the island. That is Okiari Market if you're trying to get this in Lagos. You guys should pray for me. I'm prone to spilling and this thing is so hot. So I'll just use my spoon to press the leaves so that all the juice will come out. I already have enough, I just want to press it too, don't mind me. So my zobo is ready. I'm just going to wait for this to cool down and I'm going to enjoy this with my meals throughout the day. This is also good for keto constipation and it's that time where keto constipation kicks in, keto flu kicks in. So this is just going to, you know, help with the inflammatory and relieve your body from every kind of pain or stress you'll be going through during the keto flu. So my pepper soup is done already and I just want to serve this up. This thing smells so good. Alright, so this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. Although it is light, but as soon as the light comes on, that I can use the oven, I'm going to grill my fish and have that with proper salad so this will be able to sustain me while I wait for the light to come on
I might look a little bit funny because I changed the lens, the lens is different. So I just finished filming a hair video on my Instagram and I'm hungry so I want to make a um, cheese roll. I'm just going to wrap these sausages inside cheese and kit it up, finish. That's going to be my lunch and I'm still waiting for them to bring the light so that I can have my grilled fish. So in order for my cheese not to stick, I'm going to be heating it on this paper. So if you ask me, I'll say this was a very dumb experiment because I know if I put this in the oven, it's going to crisp, crisp up and form a roll. So I decided to use this, this baking paper which disappointed me. So I'm just going to eat it up like that and you know, enjoy my life. So fortunately, this doesn't even taste bad at all. I'm just going to get ice now and pour it inside my zubo. And this will be like my unofficial lunch because I'm really waiting for them to bring the light so that I can just grill my fish. So I'm going to get I'm going to get ice now, add this to my zobo and continue filming my other video. See how I'm sweating like a Christmas goat. Even with the fan on and the window open, this is keto sweat. Eh? This first weekend, not die. Anyways, I have good news. They brought the light, <laughs> so I'm going to grill my fish. Let's go and grill that fish. Okay, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. They actually brought the light, so let's just go and grill the fish because I'm hungry. All right, so I'm going to have my last meal of the day. The last meal I'm going to have today is fish and salad. So I just want to prep the oven now and put it on so I can start grilling. Grill away. So this has been sitting for more than 24 hours and I'm expecting a miracle to happen on my taste buds or on my tongue if I taste this fish. So let me put this in the pan and just start grilling. So I want to check on my um, fish now. It has been in the oven for about 30 minutes and I like to say I'm not starting my fast by 4 today because it's already past 4 and I haven't had my dinner, my early dinner because I always have an early dinner. So my fast is probably going to start by 5pm today so let's just check on the fish.
so this is officially going to be my last meal for today thursday um january 28th so i'll see you guys on friday i've obviously changed my lens i just decided to show you guys my meal again and this fish is better than yesterday's one yesterday's one was straight from seasoning into the oven but this one slept inside the marinade slept inside the marinade marinade so this is bomb i'll see you guys tomorrow friday the 29th of january 2021 hopefully by god's grace with another meal all right hi guys happy friday today is friday and i'm at my studio i have a client coming in so i've been here since morning and i've been working and the time now is 12 50. the time i'm coming So the time now is 12.50, that's about 1 p.m. and I've been fasting for I think 20 hours now. So I couldn't get anything to eat at home because I needed to be here early. And if you don't know, I have a studio, we take pictures here, we do photos and you know, video shoots. And here is my small makeup table where I get my clients ready. So a model is coming in today to get ready. And so I got food from Chicken Republic. Let me just show you guys what I got. So I got their rotisserie chicken and salad. I got their chicken salad because their regular salad has sugar in it. They either always have icing sugar or sugar in it. So I had to buy this big bowl of salad. This was 800 Naira. This is their chicken salad. And then they gave me cream. Three of this. I got three of this cream. I know it's not enough, but I'll just manage it. And this is their rotisserie chicken. So this is what I'm going to have for my late breakfast stroke, early lunch. So I'll probably have my last meal of today at home. So this is what I'm going to have now. And this was 1,000 naira. This was 800 naira. So everything here is 1,800. So I'm going to see you guys later in the evening, later today. So have fun, have a blast on your Friday. Hi guys, happy Saturday. I just got back from work. I had clients to work on and you guys know, some of you know, some of you do not know. I'm a makeup artist also. So I always go out to work. Sometimes they come to my studio. I showed you guys my studio yesterday. And the time now is past one. Like, I've been fasting for 24 hours. Who did I kill? Fam, I didn't have anything to eat. Okay, I wasn't able to update my um, video yesterday because as soon as I got home, I just, you know, took a shower, drank water, and I slept off. So I that was the only meal I had yesterday. So today, I was thinking, oh, I'll just quickly go to work. And it was a morning appointment. So I just went out thinking I'll be back early, around like 11-ish, but I was stuck in traffic. And I just realized I've been fasting for 24 hours. So I just want to quickly make my breakfast. And my breakfast is going to be like a special breakfast because I cannot suffer myself. Darling, I need to eat something. I'm going to have a burger, but in the meantime, while I figure out how I'm going to make that burger. I'm going to make pepper soup, the mini pepper soup in my fridge. That's why I always tell you guys to have staple meals so that you not just be hungry and you not be able to think of what to do. So at least while I have that pepper soup, I'll be able to calm myself down and figure out how I'm going to make that burger. And I'll show you guys how I'll make that burger also. Alright, so I'm going to start making my burger now and I have minced beef here. I just added some salt, pepper, um, parsley flakes and garlic. So I'll mix this <laughs> I'll mix this together. I say I'll mix this. I'll mix this together. This is going to be my party for the burger.
So I'm going to add a slice of cheese on this and just leave it to melt. This is mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to leave it to melt. So this is the bread I'm going to use for my burger. This is a um, mozzarella roll, cheesy roll from a brand called Keto NG on Instagram. I'll leave her um, description or contact in the in the description box box what's wrong with my tongue down below so i'm just going to cut this up because this is what i'm going to use for my burger you can see it has cheese inside this is mozzarella cheese so on the second note i'm going to heat this up again just the inside i'm going to heat it up on the pan like this Alright guys, so this is me ending the vlog and I'm still eating my burger now. Like I said, this is my last meal for today. So this is the end of the vlog. So if you made it up to this point guys, and you do want to see more keto meals, like I said, it's going to run for 30 days. Make, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and I'll be sure to see you in the next one you're about to click on because you do not want to leave my channel. Continue watching all my good videos. So bye guys and see you in the next one you're about to click on. Mm.